What's up everybody, Dustin here, Hike Brothers Outdoors. I'm out in my shop right now. As you can see, I got about a million projects going on. Things are busy around here. But I wanted to put something to the test. So a while back, I did some modifications on this boat here. I removed the center bench. I was looking for a way outside of uh, riveting to patch some holes in the bottom where the old rivets were. So I, I found this video of a guy brazing with just a little map gas torch um, a hole that he got in his aluminum boat. I thought, well, that's interesting. I'll kind of, you know, be interested in giving that a shot. So what I did was I put this mud motor, it's an 18 horse, on this 1648 John boat. It puts an awful lot of torque on that transom. Well, it created two cracks, one on each side, and you can see I already brazed those together. Sorry, I didn't get it on video. Uh, and then I did the same thing on the other side there, you can see. And then I added this reinforcing, which is just a piece of aluminum angle riveted to the bench seat. And then I've got some three quarter inch aluminum tube kickers going back to the transom. There's three of them there. But I started thinking about it and I got kind of nervous about getting out there and running this boat with a crack being on both sides. Is that going to have so much torque that it's just going to rip the whole transom off the back end of the boat? I'm not sure. That's for another video. So here's what I'm going to be using today. I got some eighth inch aluminum brazing rod and I just picked this up at Menard. So you should be able to find it anywhere, Home Depot or Lowe's, I'm sure. And then I've got a map gas torch here like you'd use for soldering plumbing pipes or for brazing smaller gas lines. And the technique that you use is you basically take the rod, grab one here, you heat your joint up with the torch and as you heat it, you basically paint back and forth with the rod as it melts and fill your crack or hole. So, So my plan is to braze these two pieces of aluminum together and then put some pressure on the joint and see how well it would hold up in a real scenario. Well guys, there it is. Definitely doesn't look as pretty as a weld. But the main reason I wanted to do this was to see if it would get you by, if it's strong enough to, to actually hold the two pieces together. So I'm just gonna set it here. I kinda squenched it with some water there too, which I probably wouldn't do if I was going to use this long term. I'm just gonna put a little pressure on this and we'll see what happens. Wow. I'd say uh, so far it's stronger than I thought it would be. But I'm going to just go ahead and put a little bit of weight on this and let's see what happens. Ready? Zoom in on it, E. Wow. Well, you can see it actually grabbed pretty well right there. The aluminum ripped. So actually not too bad. I wouldn't say that it's anywhere near as strong as a weld would be, but it's definitely stronger than I thought. And I think it would get you by in a pinch. And because we're out in the shop, what do you guys say we feed the feces?